Hello everyone in H here. Yep, we are going full circle because we finally have a challenge on the very first Advance Wars game. But not any regular challenge. One on a pre-deployed map against three CEOs. A 1v3, huh? Mengs is really trying to find a way to stop us now. <laughs> we are forced to use Nail this time and you'll see that Luck is indeed going to be needed throughout the entire run. Like most runs already done for this challenge, we are going to send our units in a specific order as far as we can towards the center. We want that first infantry in range of the HQs while the other units move close to it, but staying out of range of Eagle's tank right there. I'm sure there are other variations that might work, but I went with putting the artillery as far as possible so it can reach the center and help a ton later on. Also that infantry is base placed here and coincidentally will also let us bait some of Olaf's units towards it instead of the center. Two birds with one stone, we take these without hesitation. And right now is the first of many instances where good RNG will be needed. We want Eagle's units to follow a defensive pattern and move as little as possible, exactly as shown there. Meanwhile, the other two CEOs mostly move the same way every time. I'm pretty sure there isn't any need to worry about them, at least this turn. And thanks to Eagle not moving much, we can place our units outside the attack range of his for another turn. You just saw that his tank doesn't reach far enough anyway. But unlike the runs others have done, we won't go for Olaf's HQ, but for Eagle's instead. So we need to surround it and make sure both recons can reach it by also blocking the road tiles. We have barely enough to do it, but with this, we are guaranteed to get that HQ. And there we go. Now only Kambe is a threat. And a left streak on some white. And as you can see, there is no way for the enemy to even reach us. Next turn, we'll be asking a lot of good RNG rolls, beginning with this mech. We want a laugh to attack us there. But we also need to get favorable luck rolls so we can survive with one more HP than normal. We want to be at 6 HP, otherwise we won't be able to do enough damage next turn. And as you can see, Eager right now won't be able to do anything. Also, we need a favorable roll for the other mech too, for the same reasons. And we got a low roll for the APC there too which is somewhat needed, unless we can get one next turn instead. Look at me, finally happy to get what I need. <laughs> and now we also need an extremely good luck roll, so we can lower that tank down to 2 HP. This way, we just put this little fella in Reaper mode, meaning we won't have to deal with it for the rest of the match. Otherwise, it would have been able to prevent our captures later on. And that's not the only good RNG roll we needed, as you saw. And now Kambay's tank is also forced to go repair itself. This turn really needs every luck we can gather to do the maximum amount of damage. And we want every other unit to be as low as possible too. Ned really needs to brute force her way to victory there if she wants a fast one. And we call that form flannel all muscles out, being the one busting holes, and not the other way around. <laughs> there you go. Ego got destroyed and couldn't do anything of value. Look at him on the left, probably molding about luck damage being unfair. But this turn is pretty rough RNG wise for sure. You need a lot to go right for you, though things become better after that thankfully. Olaf isn't a threat anymore and doesn't really need anything special. Meanwhile, Kanbai 
also seems to always go for that APC bear. So we don't really have to worry about RNG outside of the damage taken on the APC during the previous or this turn, depending on how things went, since we want both of Kambai's units to attack it and nothing else. Speaking of which, this turn, we only really need that one damage roll with the tank to go our way. And this one isn't even as bad as the ones we needed during day two. But with it, we put Conbys Recon in Reaper mode two. For the other units, we can either do the same or kill them depending on our luck. But Flanet won't be satisfied with just hurting them. She really wants to crush their little three-way fun they tried to have at her expense. <laughs> and yes, we are getting both HQs at the same time. That's the only way we can beat this in five turns. But some of you might wonder, what about the infantry's in range of ours? Well, you are going to witness one of the worst quirk of the very first Advanced Wars game. Infantries are just going to not attack us. Ever. They will simply try to capture properties or wait around in the middle and do nothing. Seriously, the AI in this game is just worse and can be abused even more than the others. But hey, maybe Mengs will find a way to make it happen there. Who knows? What's sure is you can always count on me to find a way to beat this. Though it was solved as soon as I was aware of the challenge. But that won't stop me into looking for the fastest completion possible instead. If you are ever interested in seeing that or viewers challenges in the future, you know the drill. Subscribe and like button, all that stuff. And not just for me, but do this for every person who were able to complete these challenges, which you can easily find in the descriptions of every challenge videos I make, which you can look for easily from there if you are curious to see more and can't find them on YouTube easily, which can happen. Remember that you guys' support is always appreciated and is motivating us all in showing Mengs that this community will find a way. Anyway, that was Coil Range, done in five days. If you are interested in seeing more, like, I don't know, a NoHQ cap run for that challenge, for example, leave a comment saying so, and I will look into it. Though, I can bet that without tanks, the AI won't be able to do much. Anyway, until next time, have a good one. Bye, everyone.